All right, welcome to this video. And in the last video, I showed you how to make a, a quiz with randomized terms. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but with a much larger uh, volume of terms. And one of the problems with dealing with terminology or vocab is that sometimes there's so many vocab terms that there's not time to quiz on all of them. So this is what I like to do. If I give the students, let's say I gave them 104 terms in this case. This is uh, down here. I would have 104 terms all the way down here. And I wanted just to give them a short quiz on it. I might only give them 15 questions. So I might number this from 1 to 15. But how do I make it so that they can get um, a randomized list every time from those 104 terms? and they're only going to get 15 questions randomly from those 104 terms. So that's the basic idea. You want the students to study a large number of terms and then you may only quiz them on some of the terms. But they have to study everything, right? To make sure that they uh, can get a good grade. Well this is how you do it. Take all your terms and paste them into Excel like this and you go all the way down to the bottom and then you number it from 1 to 15. And we're going to go over here just like we did before. I'm going to have this random column. I'm going to type in equals R-A-N-D open parentheses, close parentheses, like this. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to fill that all the way down okay, to the last term here. So all of the terms have the random function, but I only have the first 15 terms here that I'm going to quiz on. okay. So what we're going to do is, let's say that the first period comes in, and I told them, I'm going to say, you're each going to get a 15 question quiz, uh, but they're all going to have different terms. In other words, you need to study all of these 104 terms, but you're only going to get 15 questions. Okay. So what I do here is I go back up to data and sort, click sort, and I'm going to sort by random values again. So what this is going to do is this is just going to change the order. Okay. So I'm going to make a grid here. Again, I'm going to highlight these first 15, go to home, click grid here. So now I have a quiz with 15 questions that's completely randomized. Okay then I would paste that into Microsoft Word like I did before have that quiz. The next period comes in okay, and I want them to have a completely different quiz also but I want them to study all the terms so I'm going to highlight all the terms again I'm going to go up to data and I'm going to click sort okay, random and then once again now I'm going to have completely different terms so the first 15 terms are going to be completely different and then you would just copy and paste this over into Word and that's your quiz. So this is a very uh, practical way to quiz on a large volume of information and it makes the students study all of the terms but you don't have to quiz them on all of the terms and then each period gets something completely different uh, so that way it's not just all the same questions reshuffled it's literally you don't know which ones are going to show up now as a, for a student studying for a test this is also very useful because let's say that you have you know 500 terms you have to memorize or whatever it is you're taking a bio class and you need to memorize all these terms let's just say and you, you just want to quiz yourself every night, well you can randomly pick 15 questions every night and just keep quizzing yourself all the time. So that's also a very useful thing. Remember after you paste this into the Microsoft Word document, you want to take these colors and you want to make them uh, to, to make them white in terms of the, the font color. So that's what the student would see on the quiz. And then for your key, you want to make sure that you show the correct color for yourself. You might want to want, might actually want to make that a red color too for the key. Uh, depending on what you want to do. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.